Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today we have another Gundam 0083 Stardust memory release. This one's the MS06F2 Zaku 2F2 Kimberid Base version anime. So just like the Dom Tropin, we have a Kimberid Base Colors version of the Zaku 2F2, and it does look absolutely amazing. You know, I like this color scheme a lot better than the standard Zaku color scheme, and uh, I was really excited when they started announcing this Kimberid based stuff. You know, these appeared in episode three or four of 0083, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a really solid base figure, and to have this version is really, really nice. It is a P-Bandai, unfortunately, but we'll get into the details of the figure and you'll see why I think it's absolutely worth the money. So here is the Zaku 2. So you'll see, he's, he's just a straight repaint. There's nothing different about this one. Uh, it's just all in this tan coloring. It does look really nice. You know, it's all kind of solid colored. You know, I've mentioned before, you know, the, the 0083 stuff, the version anime in general doesn't have a lot of, like, uh, you know, detail markings, except for some of the MSV stuff. But for a figure like this, it actually looks pretty good. It works. You can uh, recreate the Zaku with the missing shield pretty easily. Just pop the shield off. Uh, you know, in the series, there was, I think, one, one or two of these Zakus that had the missing shield. And I keep getting the episode wrong. It's actually episode 4. I keep saying 3 for some reason. But it's episode 4 of, of 0083 where these make their appearance. But if you want to see the articulation and stuff, uh, you can check out my original Zaku 2 F2 review, the green one. And uh, same with the gimmicks and stuff. I'm not really going to go over a whole lot of that. But I mean, it is a, it's a very nice figure. You know, it does everything that it's supposed to do. So, the big difference here is going to be the accessories. So, let's go ahead and check those out. So, just like the other Zaku releases and virtually every other uh, version anime release, we have two different sets of posing hands, Heat Hawk hands, and the gun hands, as well as the cool little hand rack. Now, these first couple accessories I'm going to show are uh, the same ones that come with the Zaku 2 F2 variations, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. This is the 120 millimeter machine gun with grenade launcher. has the uh, folding handle, moving camera, removable magazine, and swiveling uh, stock as well. It's effect part compatible. And you also get the, if I can get it out of here, the anti-air machine gun magazine and a spare magazine as well. You do have the 280 millimeter Zaku Bazooka. It's the same one that we've seen many, many times before. And this one has the rear storage as well as the two side storage pieces as well. You just pull the panel off of the back and you can put it on either, either side there. You do have the Heat Hawk. So this one comes in a stored version and the deployed version both in uh, tan coloring, which looks really nice. You have a Sturmfaust. This is the same one that comes with the Dom Tropen. Uh, it does not have any storage piece, it's just the Sturmfaust itself, which is fine because the Zaku's they were never shown storing it. And then we also have the 90 millimeter machine gun, this time with the tan magazine, which is removable, effect part compatible, all that good stuff. And then, let me grab my figure here we have a commander head. I don't recall seeing any of these Kimberid units with a commander head aside from new and bitters, but you can make the uh, commander type Tanzaku, which is really cool. And then my favorite alternate head piece here is actually this one with the uh, armor panels on the front of it, which is unique to this set. So, looks really, really nice like that. I'm probably going to keep it 
like this, honestly. So I, I do like that. And then we have, as a new accessory, a storable uh, set of spare magazines for the 90 millimeter machine gun. These are different than the Dom Tropins, and they'll store on any of the hard points on the Zaku. So here, I think they'll store back here, maybe not. Mm, that's a negative. So just on the sides, they'll store. We also have a uh, spare anti aircraft magazine, which was shown in the show. The Zaku that shot down the core fighter had a spare on his side. So same as the other spare magazines. I think it'll, yeah, it'll just peg right in like that, which is pretty cool. So this is a new accessory here. So next I want to take a look at the missile pods. So you have the uh, ankle piece here that separates. It's just a pig. It's a pretty strong pig. But it just pegs in right here. And then these two pieces combine to make a peg, which then fits into, I think it goes into here. And it just attaches right in, like so. So that's how it would look. Now these are different than the one that comes with the regular Zaku 2 and the uh, Wetland Zaku. So you can see the boxes are quite different. Obviously the uh, ankle piece is much different. And on the back here, while these missiles are more exposed, this one you actually have to remove this panel to expose the missiles, and the missiles are removable, which is pretty cool. So the easiest way to get this missile pod on the leg is you'll uh, wrap this piece around the leg, kind of get it lined up with the hole as best you can, and then you just take the missile pod piece itself, put it in between there, and it pegs right in like that. So super easy, looks nice. I think it's easier than Zaku 2 version to actually get it attached. So another new accessory here is the hand grenade. You have a little stored version here, and you have a deployed version. You have two of each, and you have a little storage rack. They are a pretty tight fit on the storage rack. Let's see if I can get them on there real quick. There we go, there's that one. So the deployed ones and the stored ones will both fit on there. And then you can just attach the whole piece to the side of the Zaku, like so. And it'll, like I said, you can do two deployed ones or two stored ones, however you want to do it. Or you can do it like this and make it look weird. So either way it'll work. And lastly here for the new accessories, you finally get the two boosters for the uh, backpack. So you'll take the little panels off that go here, and I believe these will just peg right in like that. These are the uh, thrusters they use to do uh, jumps in gravity pretty easily, so looks very nice. I believe they're effect part compatible down here. Uh, new and Bitter's Zaku comes with a really neat effect for these uh, boosters, which is really cool. But yeah, it looks, looks fantastic. So with the uh, effect parts, we don't get anything too crazy. We get two uh, slanted pegged thruster effects, pretty standard. You get an explosion effect back here. That's uh, pretty neat looking. A big old Zaku Bazooka firing effect. We've got this a couple times now, pretty standard. And then you have a machine gun firing effect. It almost has a green coloring to it, but really nice looking. So it's everything you get with the effect parts. So here we have the Zaku 2 F2 trio that's been released so far. 
You have the standard colors, the Kimberley forces, and the uh, Earth Federation colors. So, you know, of course, the only thing with these are the color differences. So you'll see uh, this one's more of a tan and really dark blue versus the single toned darker tan here. And then you have this one versus the, the green one. You know, the coloring makes such a huge difference. I mean, they almost look like two different figures. This one almost looks bulkier than the regular Zaku 2 figure, or regular Zaku 2 F2 figure. But it's not. It's, a, it's the same it's the same figure. It's, it's crazy how much coloring makes a huge difference. But there will be one more variation coming out, and that's New and Bitter's Zaku. So keep an eye out for that in the coming months. Although the sculpt of the Zaku 2 is the same as the other F2 variations, it does have a feature that the others don't. This front piece can be removed, and you can actually take the legs off. So this is done uh, to facilitate the leg swapping for the green leg Zaku 2 F2 that you see in the TV show. So you'll need new and bitters Zaku 2 F2 in order to complete that look because you'll take the legs off of that one. That Zaku 2 F2 will have this same feature. And that's it's pretty simple, just front piece off, legs off. So pretty cool to do to have one of these, one of new and bitters and one green leg, you'll basically need two of these figures and two of new and bitters. So uh, if you don't already have one of these, you may want to plan on buying two and then pre-ordering two of new and bitters. So something to keep an eye out for. So now that I may very well have talked some of you into buying two of these figures, you might be wondering, well, how much did this one cost me? It was right about $77.93 before shipping. So it is a more expensive figure. It is a P-Bandai, of course. Uh, just like the EFSF Zaku was, and so it's going to have a higher price tag. It does come with a lot of stuff as well, a lot of unique stuff, which is really nice. You know, it's it's a a it's one of those releases. It's just like the Dom Tropin Kimberid, where it just comes with a bunch of really neat stuff. The effect parts aren't as you know aren't as cool looking, but uh, or, or unique, I guess I should say. But, I mean, the figure itself just looks absolutely amazing. I think it's worth the money. I am going to try and track down a second one. I didn't end up buying a second one initially, but I am going to try and get another one. And I already pre-ordered two of New and Bitter's Zaku's as well. So um, you'll be seeing the Green Lake variant for sure once New and Bitter's Zaku gets released. Uh, thank you for watching the review. Uh, leave a comment below of what you think about this Zaku whether you liked it or not, what, how many you're going to get, and uh, if you're going to do the green leg version. And uh, I'll see you on the next review, which will be the Gerbera Tetra, also from 0083. So uh, check out the reviews below for the Zaku 2F2, the EFSF Zaku, and the wetland type. So uh, I'll see you all next time, and have a good day.